2015 was filled with a variety of weather, a little something extreme for everybody. I'm meteorologist Jason Myers, and rather than going through every little gust of wind that made headlines, here are the top seven weather events of 2015. Number one, Boston's record-breaking snow. Snow for the season reached 108.6 inches by March 15th, surpassing the old record by nearly an inch. Most of that fell in February when big snowstorms were hitting the city every few days. Number two, Texas underwater. May 2015 was the wettest month on record across Texas. An average of almost nine inches of rain fell across the Lone Star State. It saw widespread flooding and it ended the drought that had been around since 2011. Number three, just plain hot. Every single month of the year, except February, came in warmer than average across the country. Yes, a few spots were colder, but the hot spots were that much hotter. Number four, Okanagan Complex Wildfire. It was the largest wildfire on record in the state of Washington. It burned more than 300,000 acres and destroyed 176 homes during the month of August. Number five, flash flooding in southern Utah. The Pacific hurricane season was the second most active on record, and one of those hurricanes, Hurricane Linda, brought torrential rains to the southwest, causing flash flooding that killed 20 people. Number six, tornadoes in May. More than 400 tornadoes were reported in May. That's the most in a single month since April 2011. After that, things tapered quite a bit and the overall season was much more tame than usual. Number seven, the growing El Nino. This El Nino seems to get bigger with every update. It's already in the running for the top three strongest on record. It's not done yet either, so expect to hear more about this one in 2016. So what do you think? Did we miss one? Tell us about it in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel.